Welcome to the Blake UK YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the Pro RG45 tool. This is a multi-purpose tool that can cut, strip and crimp all from one tool. Today we're going to use some Cat6 cable but the tool's quite happy with Cat5 as well. So the first slot, pass your cable through like so and crimp down and that is a nice clean cut for the cable. The, the third slot is for stripping the, the outer jacket. So crimp down, give it a twist. Like so. And that will slide off. So that's removed the outer jacket without damaging any of the fine cables inside. There is basically two uh, specifications for um, laying out the cable. Um, you can either use uh, the, the 268A or 268B standards. In Britain, in England, we are suggested to use the 268B. Um, this makes it quite easy to remember which you should be using, little tip. The, the 268A is the one that we don't use, but it's commonly found in America. Uh, the, the 268B is the one that we use. Um, so it's quite easy to remember, just remember B is British, A is American. That's not actually what the A and B stands for, but it's a very easy way to remember which configuration you should be using. So we've now prepared the cap cable. Um, this is in T258B standard. So the standard is um, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. So that's the order that the cables need to be put into for CAT5 or CAT6 T568B, the British standard. Um, it's very important to keep it in this standard, in this configuration, uh, because of the way that CAT cable works. If you don't use this standard, if you simply put it into a, um, a random uh, order, um, that loses the properties of the cat cable. Each one of these cables is a different length, although it looks exactly the same length, the way that they're twisted round inside. What that does is uh, it, it stops interference on each of the cables, so it stops one cable from interfering with the other one. So it's very important to use the correct uh, coding, the correct layout specification, uh, call it what you will. So once you've got them in the right order, you're then going to put them side by side, so very nice and neat, neatly side by side, making sure that you don't cross over any, making sure that it's in that, that same order that you put them in, very careful with it, like so. Once they like this, then they're now ready um, to be mounted into the plug. Now the special thing about our plugs is there's two types, there's a CAT5 and there's a CAT6. The CAT6 is a wider aperture at the back because CAT6 is a thicker cable. The other nice thing about our plugs is um, you can tell the quality of the plug because if you look very, very closely, uh, the, the, the actual teeth that you're about to crimp down is uh, serrated uh, and that forms a greater surface area over the cable when you crimp it down because it's serrated. Um, that keeps up the gigabit uh, capability of the plug. Uh, it's actually quite an important feature of the plug. Uh, so you can always tell a good quality plug. So once you've done that, you're going to mount the, the cable into the plug, simply into the back, push the cable up through the top of the plug, slide your cable up into the plug, like so, and you'll see that the cables pop out of the top. Stop right now and check that you've not got any of these wires in the wrong order, because um, while you're pushing it up into the plug, they can sometimes cross over while they're uh, traveling up inside the plug. So just stop and make sure that you have got the right order um, for, the, for the wires, like so. Once you've done that, you can then safely put the wires back together, get hold of your tool and push it into the recess on the tool like so, so it's nice and snug inside there. Okay, crimp down. This is gonna crimp the plug and cut the cable at the same time. So give it a good crimp down. 
like so. That's cut the all the pieces off, and it's also crimped the teeth down to cut into the um, actual cable as well. So that plug is now on.